everyone, I'm Matt. I am Desiree. And we're bringing you this week's Rising Tide West Coast Swing Guide. This week on the guide, we'll still be talking about two handhold moves, right? We want variations in our dancing that keep us away from always getting back to this position. And so for this series, the two handhold series, we're going to be talking about a bunch of different moves you can incorporate to add that variety. Today, we're going to be talking about a slingshot cut off into a duck. We'll show you how now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Breaking this down for our leaders, this move is actually a lot simpler than it looks like. We're starting out with a basic slingshot, stepping back on one, opening the arms on two. Here on three, we're both landing and redirecting our followers. So this will feel kind of like a little bounce. Three. Four, five, we're stopping our followers using our right wrist on their hip. We want to make sure this is a really clear stop before this next part. On six, we're rotating our arms and lifting our right arm up towards the followers' armpit, giving them the signal to duck. On seven, eight, we walk, walk. These walks are really small leaders. I'm basically just getting out of the way and back into the slot. And then we finish it out for one and two. Then we do what's called a starburst pattern, which is just a helpful little tool to fix any weird handle you might wind up with. Two, three, and four, five, and six. It's basically a push break with that starburst action in the middle. For followers, a really good tool in our toolkit for this move is to practice pivoting on the left foot, collecting that right foot, and then moving our weight from the inside to the outside of that right foot. We do this in both the slingshot and the cut up. So what I want you to do is simply practice putting your left foot in front of you, getting your body weight on the ball of that left foot, collecting in the right foot as you pivot to the side of what your slot would be, and then shifting that weight over gradually onto your right leg. That's the first thing I want you to think about. The second thing I want you to think about, if you could get me to count five, please, Matt, thank you, is we've created that movement, is the duck. Now, in ducks in West Coast Swing, we, where we normally have this nice expanded frame, we actually want to start collapsing that frame. So I'm thinking about connecting into the leader with my right sided body, and now as I collapse the frame, I'm getting really small and really short. So I almost think about taking my lungs and folding them in, as well as taking my left leg and drawing that in towards me. When I'm at my smallest, that's when my leader's going to start getting out of my way, and when I want to stop, start redeveloping that frame, I do so by straightening my left leg behind my right and taking my frame from this kind of crunched in position, rolling those shoulders up, back, and down, and filling that frame out again. Final tip for this starburst pattern and this push break with the weird hand hold is I want to start moving my body weight right towards my leader, almost in the middle of my leader's chest, but then as the hands come out, I wanna make sure that I'm actually compressing in this direction, not just forward, but out and away. That's gonna allow my leader to feel my connection the entire time and get me leadable back out the slot. Showing this whole thing one more time with the counts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, and six, seven, and eight. That was your guide. Thank you everyone for tuning in. You can check us out online at mattdavisswing.com. We're also on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter as Rising Tide Swing and Studio. See you next week.